Hi, in this video we will talk about how to create a pie chart using the high charter package in R and then we will see how we can save the interactive charts which are generated by high charter into a static image so that you can use it in your Word document or your uh, printed um, documents as well. So to start with I'll be using these three libraries. So the data which we are going to use is the Gapminder dataset. So the Gapminder dataset is about country and the population of those countries for different years. I would convert this data into the top 10 data. So I just want to see the top 10 countries based on their population and for, for the latest year which we can get in this data set because there are a number of years, 1952, 57, etc. We want to just get the latest data for these countries. So this is our data set now. So we have the top 10 countries based on the population in the year 2007. So if you look into the structure of this data set, we have country, and then we have the population. So using this data set, we can create a high charter chart, which is a pie chart. And on the x-axis, we want to have the country and on the y-axis, we need population. So if I run this command, we have a pie chart and this is an interactive chart. And this is what I meant when I said it's an interactive chart. They're normally used on the web applications, but you can of course convert this into a static image. I would be using two more packages. One is HTML widgets. The other one is a web shot. HTML widget will convert your interactive chart into a web page. So you can see that the mychart.html web page being created. So let me run this. When I click on this, I should have got a web, a web page on my D drive in the temp folder. And then when I run this web shot, I'm taking a snapshot of my web page and I'm saying, this is my HTML page. Then I want to convert that into a static image, which is a PNG file. And then I'm giving a delay of four seconds because the high charter charts um, are drawn from the left onwards. So it, it takes a bit of a time to render it. So if you don't have a delay, you might actually have half a chart coming on your screen. You can increase the delay up or down as needed. So when I run this web shot command, I get a chart on my D drive, and this is the chart. I have a Word document here, and I can drag my pie chart in there as well. Thank you very much for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.